Hola, tasteless people. I am Sancho Panza. Welcome back to Don Quixote Mendes Returns. Don Quixote had a better chance with his windmills and without risk of decapitation. And surrounded by freaks, welcome back to Alice Mendes Returns. Here in the dollhouse, ready to fight some more windmills. Windmills that could be in the dollhouse, but that could also be in my head. I'm sorry, kid, I'm standing on your face. I thought that was a fitting intro considering our little trip of delusions that we're having, Alice. That was a crying kid puzzle that we solved last episode as we are moving forward in Dollhouse. Not sure exactly where, because this place is a goddamn labyrinth. Did I tell you that it's my least favorite chapter of them all? And it's such a shame that it has to be the final one. Usually you want, you know, a great finale, a wonderful final chapter immersed in beautiful sceneries and landscapes. They don't have to be beautiful as in peaceful, but you want a very scenographic final stages. More beach babies! Come here, you wretched fiend! You dare challenge Alice? Quite a bold thing to do, considering that this game is called Alice Mendes Returns and Wonderland is owned by Alice, so... It's a bit of a silly thing to do. Alright... These dolls on swings are not afraid of challenging me, I must say. Let's try again. Oh no, Alice, you're vibrating. Alice, you're out of control. Stop this nonsense. Stop humping the air. This is not how you float. <laughs> Let's try this again, shall we? Of course I could make jokes on that. But dare I? What happens if I dare, Alice? Ooh! -hoo. <laughs> I will find you. And I will kill you. Well, Alice just demonstrated what would happen to me if I dared. So I better keep my mouth shut, avoid all the trouble, both from the enemies and from Alice, of course. Ooh, what do I see there? A cupcake? Hmm. What? Where is where is the bitch baby going? Well, this is awkward. Sir, mine hair. The fight is over here, on this side of the house. Did you actually learn from your friends that it's not wise to challenge Alice? Well, this isn't one of the cupcakes made by Natsuki though, because I can see its insect flavor. Begun! Nice try, Dollmaker. When I poke my head outside, they run away. I see that you puked. Are all the beach babies puking because they are eating the insect cupcakes? Well, understandable. Have a nice day. Oh, what's this? A new type of cake? Chocolate and hazelnuts? And insects, of course. Mmm, disgusting. Be gone as well. I really hoped uh, there would have been a final chapter. There kinda is, but it's not really a chapter. Uh, you will see later, I don't want to spoil too much. Now, I know the story and therefore I know that the setting fits, actually. But you just can't compare it with uh, those amazing scenarios uh, of the Vale of Tears uh, and Card Bridge and even the beginning of uh, Queensland or even the beginning of the Medator Domain. There's a tool for every task. Even the humble funnel has a special job. How would you get gin from a barrel into a bottle? Uh-huh. Uh-huh, look who's there, very well hidden. I just casually looked over there. Ah, interesting. Airdropping Alice. Uh, gingerbread people, I said airdropping Alice. Where am I going? I have no memory of this place. Ah, it's for a radula room. Hey, look who's here! It's a mad hotter action figure. Hello, hotter. It's you. Damn, how cool would it be to cosplay the mad hotter? It surely won't be perfect because I'm not three meters tall. Nor that skinny nor have a giant cogwheel in my back, and many other things. But let's see in the Radula room. Ah, it's my cat Ryuk. Alice, I know your fondness for all manner of puzzles. The one that uses it never knows that he's using it. What is it? Uh, my answer is the giant cogwheel on the hatter's back. He's using it, but he can't see it, and he's probably unaware, because he's unaware of most things, let's be honest. 
but it's obviously also a coffin. You never cease to amaze. Thank you, it's what I do best. So, first jar of paint of the chapter, one out of four. Some will be difficult to find here. I don't know if you noticed, Cat, but the music didn't stop. Even here, there is no escaping from this hellish soundtrack. Alice, take me away. Hey, you. You're finally awake. Earlier we recovered the memory from Nurse Wheatless, and she was saying that everyone has a purpose, which is quite similar to what Dr. Bambi was saying in last episode. Nurse Wheatless was talking about tools, obviously, while Dr. Bambi was talking about children, but you know, maybe Alice is remembering this memory from Nurse Wheatless because she feels it's somewhat similar to the memories that she already recovered from Dr. Bambi. Maybe Nurse Wheatless is still in the suspects list. Yes, that's what I wanted to do. No, I don't want to call the bunny, I want to call the cat. Looks like a perfect fit, and I'm a perfect judge. Time to put your new noggin to use. I don't know what noggin is, cat. You are more cultured than me. I mean, probably Alice knows it, but I don't. It's unfortunately not the Jack in the Box as a weapon, like in American McGee's Alice. It's unfortunately a mini game. The mini game that I probably dislike the most. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of this chapter. And we're playing croquet using a flamingo bat, of course, hitting an Alice doll head. This is not a slide, but I can be your co-driver again, Alice. And of course, croquet has always been very Wonderland material, from the croquet match against the Queen of Hearts in the Disney movie, to the croquet bat from American McGee's Alice. Ah, I missed that weapon. Oh, I didn't have enough speed. Jump! And, you know, this game might seem innocent and all, it's just rolling a doll head in various places and reaching eventually the hole. It's not extremely exciting, but if you think about it, maybe this is a bit of a metaphor. You're literally playing with a head, with somebody's head. Maybe it's a way of saying that you're playing with somebody's mind, or that somebody's playing with Alice's mind, considering that this is Alice's doll head. Oh, nice turn! Dorifto time! <laughs> Making Alice's doll head go around and throwing it wherever they want could be a bit like brainwashing her and making her think whatever they want her to think. So maybe this is something to keep in mind, ironically speaking. But still, I wish this minigame was a bit more interesting. Marbles, how dare you stay in my way? I shall be first. Come back here, I shall be first. I'm the protagonist here. Ah, that's what I thought you saw that overtake. I mean, the first time that I played the game, I immediately disliked this mini game. But we are in the final chapter, so I really wanted anyway to know how the game was going to end. And finally, we're out. Hey, it's Anime Horsey. Worry not, Alice, I'll be your co driver once again. Now, who left all these doll heads in the middle of the slide? Oh boy. Helping right, avoid a lot of shit, Alice. Ow. W how did I touch that? Which part of Alice's body is so big that it touched the ruins? I'm obviously referring to the soul and the heart of Alice, which are very big. Oof, that was a close one. Well, if you think that up until now the dollhouse was creepy, wait until we get off this slide for a truly dark and oppressive atmosphere, which is still nowhere near as scary as making Alice angry. Finally, we're out of this slide. Ah, what a nice welcome. Stupid minions. Get out of my sight this instant. One and two. <gasps> How dare you? How dare you? Oh, you will pay. Oh, if you will pay. What? Oh, if you will. How did you hit me? Again? Alice, your hitbox is huge as well. Oh my god. I'm doing so badly. I'm sorry, Alice. <laughs> but you die meanwhile. Look at my health. My health is amazing. 
Let's immediately be vandals and start smashing things around Alice. Because if they dare to hurt us, the least that we can do is to destroy their house. What's going on? Ah, I make these spikes disappear so that they won't pound the meat anymore. Ugh. Shivers. So I suppose up here, do I have to be fast even? I have to go down there. But first, I see a nice pig snout up here. Tell me you'll give me something useful. A memory! It is actually something useful. A memory from... Radcliffe. I was required to identify your family in the Oxford morgue. Your sister was completely recognizable. I can't say the same for your parents. Radcliffe, if I find out that you've been involved in this, I'll kick your ass. Bunny, I need to see some friendly faces. I won't even give you the time to change from your pyjama. Not that you usually change from your pyjama anyway. Uh, where, where, where? Here! Ugh, on the raw meat. And here. Ooh, just in time. Ah! Hello! <laughs> and goodbye, I suppose. <laughs> I'm magnetic! The teeth are attracted to Alice. I mean, can't blame them. But they are literally attracted to Alice. Okay, let's try not to be squashed and pounded to the ground here. Eh. Radcliffe said that uh, Rilse's body was completely recognizable, unlike uh, Alice's parents. Listen, Chiddle, why don't you step over here and face me, huh? Too afraid to do the loop around? <laughs> of course, stupid morons. <laughs> Come on, it's your turn. I'm sure that you will have better luck. Show that your friend was an exception. <laughs> Exceptionally stupid. <laughs> Just as planned. So we can only speculate so far that uh, Litzy's uh, room was uh, rather untouched by the fire. She actually died because somebody killed her or incapacitated her. Maybe the stalker, which was very probably Dr. Bambi. Here we can go up or down. Hmm. A tofu boyfriend? A keyhole? and more uh, uh, twisted abominations. Wow, what a lovely lower floor. I'm so glad that I decided to come down here, especially for just a bottle. The stairs are made of steaks, by the way. This is a lovely place for a vegetarian, I must say. Train. Ah, but there is a Cheshire cat. Where is he? Hello. Be careful, Alice. And I wish I could just transport around like you do. Watch your step, Alice. Ah, that changes everything. <laughs> just like in American Mickey's Alice, they gave Alice uh, a turtle shell to be able to breathe uh, underwater longer. I should have gave Alice uh, some sort of a Cheshire Cat power to go through stuff. Not suggesting you to become an anime cat girl, Alice. <laughs> ah, that's the hand of the doll maker. We are on the right path, even if there is no way to be on the wrong path. What's down here? Hmm. Oh, I hear shit doll spawning. Ah, oh, yes, nice try. Come on, step in front of me. You're making it too easy to troll your minions, doll maker. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, what? What? What is this counter trolling? He hit me through the glass. Like, not even I am able to cheat like that. That's some master level cheating. You at least get destroyed. Nope. Of course not. They are evolving. Their AI is evolving. Alice, we must beat this game quickly. Because I have a feeling that the ruins is getting too powerful. Oh, there he is, another one. Well, I take that back. This one is stuck. Well, Rinot Island stuck you. Mm hmm. And squash. That one probably didn't receive the update yet. Two pressure plates. That sounds like a puzzle. This leaves the door and this, I suppose, leaves the spikes. Why does Carbridge last so little and this hell lasts forever? Quick, Alice! Hey! Hey! Oh! Oh! 
Oh, I had to actually continue, and I did it obviously on purpose. Ha! <laughs> the lever is now even creepier, talking about playing with heads and minds, huh? Oh boy, hello Alice. <laughs> Bit of a jump scare. I'm sorry Alice, I haven't been behaving in this episode. Are we getting out of the meat-pounding cellar? Ah, into an even darker and more oppressive area. Lovely! Ah, those are a lot of platforms. Uh, for what? A lever up there? Oh, it's another one of those puzzles in which I have to lower a platform and jump on the other one. But meanwhile, let's recover a bit of health. I like how the flowers keep growing even here. I don't know how. I don't see water nor sunlight. But then again, this is Wonderland. Okay, Sir Bunny here. Oh no. Not here, you'll push me down. No, 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 let's take this easy. Because the bitches are here. Hi bitches, what's up? Spill the tea. You bring the tea, I bring the pepper. But if you really insist, a bit of Earl Grey for you. Hey, you refuse my hospitality? <gasps> she spat out my tea! She refuses my hospitality. Pepper then. That's what I thought. Maybe she didn't like Earl Grey. I don't know. That's my regular tea. But the favorite teas that I've tried so far are Oolong tea and... Uh, what was it? Black Tibetan tea. Silence, don't call me a weeb. Weebs? I don't know what to comment on this area. I can barely find things to joke about. Everything here is so dark or twisted or disgusting. But maybe these shitballs will help me. Ah, I know that you never spit out my tea though. I know you'll love it. Oh, one more? Not a problem. Plenty of tea for everybody. At least someone appreciates it. For a second, I thought that this Jack Skellington hand was flipping me off. Okay, which platform now? Well, one thing is to make a dark and ominous last chapter, like in Mordor for Lord of the Rings. But Mordor is, you know, epic. There's a goddamn volcano and a giant battle against an army of orcs. Uh, here instead we are in this very creepy and unsettling Dollmaker cellar, which, yes, it fits, but is it really suitable for a final chapter? Would you choose to use this for the final chapter? That's what I mean. A memory from Alice's family. All those undergraduates waiting for a word from Papa. Might I hold the tea cozy, sir? Might I pour, sir? Bunch of toadies. <laughs> Pathetic schmucks. I'm not even sure what an undergraduate means. Or toadies, if it's for that. He's an undergraduate a student of university. If that's the case, I would never be a toady undergraduate, Litsy. And mostly because I've never been an undergraduate. Alice is giving me a dagger stare in her sister's place, rightfully so. These look like rabbits or rat skulls with steampunk hat blowing smoke. Now that's a fancy hat that I approve. Alright, let's try first on this platform, then on the first steampunk gentleman. Then on the other one, and I'm kilometers away from the other platform. That's the wrong solution. Hmm. Maybe if I make it go down? Alice, I'm not looking up your skirt. It's too dark anyway. And I wouldn't do it anyway, because I'm a gentleman like those dead rabbits. Hopefully I won't be dead like them. Nope, I'm still too far away. How then? Okay, let's try again. Alice is vibrating, probably in rage, triggered by my inability of doing this puzzle. You are made of stupid. You can easily tell I've never been an undergraduate, huh, Alice? <laughs> oh, maybe I got it, maybe I got it. First here. Big brain! I'll show you, Alice, that my brain is almost as big as yours. Yet another big thing that Alice has. My biggest thing is my stupidity instead. So, now this platform is up here, and from here I can place Bunny, aha! And I have all the time to go on this platform. All right, no, Bunny! You're not heavy enough! Alice, jump! Give Bunny some more time! Ooh, that was close. 
Well, this platform basically called you Heavy Alice. I would be pissed off. I should try to divert her rage when I can. But at least Big Brain Time was successful. Rude. And I bet that one of those undergraduates that Litsy was talking about was Bambi. And while he was so kind, probably he wasn't aiming just at good grades. Quite an ominous sight here, crucified dolls. But this will be for the next episode, so I'm surrounded by freaks here with Alice. I'll see you next time, boy.